You have nowhere to run. We have to fight back. We started a rebellion. <laughs> I play a character uh, called Soka, and he's from the Southern Water Tribe, along with his sister Katara. They find a mysterious boy trapped in the ice, who happens to be the long-lost Avatar. And he gets caught by the Fire Nation, and the brother and sister have to save this boy. And once they do, they try and save the world. It's a huge scope of a film. This film is very fun. It's got a lot of special effects, a lot of martial arts. She's a bender. To bend an element, you can manipulate it. You can uh, cause water to rise up or to form into ice. To manipulate fire, if there's a flame, you can make it shoot across the room. Wah! Same thing with earth and air. These characters are able to manipulate these elements. And it looks cool, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to be able to do. Action! It was interesting in filming The Last Airbender, we went from these locations like Greenland, where it's just breathtaking, and then you go to the Northern Water Tribe's stronghold, which is this incredible, lavish set, and it was gorgeous. I mean, we had 250 or maybe 300 extras at one point, all fighting. The cameras were swooping around the ceilings, and it was just epic. You must unite your powers to defeat the Fire Nation. My character, Soka, has himself a love interest, Princess Yue. That's right, a princess. She's the leader of the Northern Water Tribe, and they become close very fast. Favorite scene for me, besides the scene I get to kiss the pretty girl, I liked a lot of the action scenes, and the battle scenes are just astounding.